Hey everyone, today is Tuesday, April 3rd. Tonight I have my Star Wars role-playing game, and I actually intend to run it tonight, unlike the last couple of weeks where we played Mass Effect 3 or other games. Um, I have an idea of a bad guy to throw at my friends, however I'm going to have to spend a couple hours building it. Um, I'm thinking of... I'm inspired by Mass Effect 3's Phantom Enemy. It's a real bane to my existence as a vanguard, um, and uh, they are a real pain in the ass. So... My intention is to build someone kind of like that, uh, a nimble adversary that relies on stealth and uh, a cunning to get up close to you to hit you with their sword. Um, I'm thinking of making it a droid. Um, the place I want to drop it is actually, um, they're going to be heading to like a cold planet, and I'm going to have like this... Uh, like stairs leading down into an area a flat area with pillars and then another flight of stairs going up and in the middle there's a pedestal and and i was thinking like four pillars uh and and in the middle there's this pedestal with a circular platform and it looks like it's completely made out of ice but when they step on it it's not slippery and that'll descend it'll take them to their objective and then when they come back up again um, uh, I'm going to have originally put up on top of the four pillars statues, but they're not really statues. They're these droids I'm making. And so they have, um, rocket capabilities. They have, um, well, like, like jetpack capabilities. They have repulsors. They have shields. Um, they're going to have, uh, I, I don't think they need super good armor plating because I want them to be light and nimble uh, so I'm gonna have an emphasis on their dexterity score as well as their strength score but not so much well they're droids so they don't have a constitution so um, and and I'm hoping I have a copy of the the scavengers guide to droids PDF on my computer I think I do because then what I can do is I can um, Oh, I can also take advantage of, I think it's the Assassin class, and do um, some of the, the, the stalking kind of things there. Or maybe it's the Infiltrator, I don't remember which, where you're shanking people and blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to look for those kinds of abilities. I'm going to make these droids approximately the level of my players, and there's going to be four of them, but depending on how well the first one goes over, you know, we'll see. If they kill the first one really quickly, then I can pounce on them with more so uh but the otherwise the others are going to just be statues um and i intend to wound my players that's the whole point of this and if they go over really well i can reuse them later at another location um so i think i would at most i would probably put like make two of them uh come to life and leave the other two alone uh that being that way they have a 50 50 chance in the future if they see a statue like that it may or may not be one of these droids that are out to get them for trespassing or what have you so uh that's that's the idea i've got going on there I, i'm gonna take parts of the phantom combine it with um parts of the centurion from uh the cerberus faction in mass effect 3 I'm also interested in looking at building kind of a, 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 a grenadier-style enemy for my friends to face. Um, something that could just, punked, you know, fire grenades at them. Uh, they are, it, they feel like they're invulnerable. They have every right to feel they're invulnerable. I've been giving them all kinds of leeway. Uh, they are mercenaries. They are successful at what they do. And there's not a lot of challenge left out there for them. So I'm going to try and create these challenges. But in the very near future, uh, after these droids, I'm expecting to start throwing uh, Imperials at them. Uh, you, you know, I mean, recently, until now, it's only really been Stormtroopers and Officers. But I'm looking at throwing higher-end Imperials, vehicles, uh, um, uh, Sith, you know, those sorts of things. Because they're right now... They are in the, the dark times, the period of time between Episode 3 and Episode 4. They're, they're a few years after Episode 3, I think, and they really need to see 
that there are a lot more Sith than there are of the Mandalorians right now. Or at least my two friends. So, I'm going to try and, yeah, mess with them. Plus, if I start using Force users against them, uh, I can start attacking their will defense, and that's something they've let sit. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to go build that phantom, if you will. Until next time.